commercial egg producers are the segment of the poultry industry responsible for the year-round supply of safe, nutritious eggs. The poultry industry has taken eggs to a new level, with a diverse array of egg types to suit every consumer, ranging from traditional grade A whole eggs to ready-made liquid egg products. Laying hens have a high egg production, unlike broiler chickens, which have been selected for meat production. Through genetic selection and good management, laying hens have achieved high levels of egg production. Eggs are collected and stored on farm until being shipped to an egg grading facility. Eggs produced from commercial layer farms are graded and will end up as table eggs or be processed further into various egg products. Let's go back to the farm and see where these eggs come from. Commercial table egg production involves only hens. Many people do not realize that males are not required for hens to lay eggs. Breeder flocks have been genetically selected for highly efficient egg production. Newly hatched chicks are transported from the hatchery to rearing facilities in a truck with environmentally controlled conditions. Immature hens are known as pullets. Most pullet rearing barns have rows of cages with multiple tiers. Some producers may raise pullets on the floor, which is similar to broiler barns. Pullets will remain in the rearing facility until they are approximately 18 weeks of age. Initially, chicks are placed in the middle tiers of the caging system so the producer can keep a close watch on the chicks, which are vulnerable in the first few days. In terms of the chicks' physical needs, air quality, heat, water, and feed are extremely important. Paper is placed on the wire floor so the chicks can walk around easier. It also provides a surface for feed to be placed on. Chicks will eat from the paper until they learn to eat from the feeders. Barns have automatic watering systems with nipple drinkers. These systems are beneficial because they ensure the birds have clean, fresh water at all times. In the first few days, the barns are brightly lit for 23 hours a day to ensure that the chicks find the feed and water. Chicks are attracted to the nipple drinking watering system because it is shiny. The barn is heated prior to chicks arriving. This helps prevent chilling of the birds. As their down is replaced by mature feathers, the heat can gradually be reduced. Hot air rises, so producers use fans to minimize temperature differences throughout the different tiers. Air circulation also improves air quality and helps reduce humidity. As they mature, the pullets are transferred from the middle cages to be evenly distributed throughout the caging system, providing them with more space. High-speed augers, chains, or mechanized hoppers automatically feed the birds by moving up and down the cage rows. Birds are fed specific amounts of fresh feed every few hours so they have a constant supply of feed. The feed is typically composed of cereal grains and minerals. Manure is collected on belts below each tier of the caging system. Wire floors in the cages allow manure to fall onto the belts, away from the birds and eggs. The manure is moved to the end of the cage row and then augered out of the barn for spreading on land or composting. Some farms use air blowers that dry the manure faster than conventional methods. Wet litter produces ammonia, which can be dangerous at high levels, so it is crucial to keep the barn dry. Barns have high-tech ventilation systems that ensure quality air in the facility by monitoring the carbon dioxide, ammonia, temperature, and humidity. Backup power generators and alarm systems are installed in the event of a power outage. These systems must be regularly checked. Pullet barn lights are only turned on for approximately 8 hours to simulate the short days of winter. With proper light management, the flock will mature at relatively the same time, which is important for egg production later in the lay cycle. Some producers specialize in raising pullets to between 17 and 20 weeks of age. These birds are then delivered to laying facilities that may be located as far away as several hundred kilometers. Other farms have both pullet rearing and laying facilities. Once the birds are transferred and have reached a specific weight, they are photostimulated to begin the lay cycle. Day length is increased from 8 to approximately 15 hours of light. Relatively high light intensities must be used because the light is perceived by photoreceptors in the hypothalamus, not the eye. This light energy must pass through the feathers, 
the skull, and the brain to be effective. Birds are biologically programmed to lay eggs when days are getting longer in spring to take advantage of the abundant food supplies and warmer weather. Commercial egg producers carefully manage the light environment inside the barns to simulate longer days. This convinces the birds that it is spring and stimulates them to continue laying eggs.